Hello, YouTubers. Today, I totally gamer Jet here, and today I'm going to be doing the second episode of Bluepad. So, this episode we're going to configure everything, our servers, so that they connect with our connect and our proxy. So, since it took me like forever to figure out how to do it, and then I was been playing on my Mac lately, so I haven't been able time to make this video. But now uh, I got my brother off the computer, and now I can do it. So. Let's start, let's see, let's start with the connect. So you want to open the connect, uh, YML file with Notepad Plus, which will be in the description. And what you want to do is, all you'll see is you'll see username and password, and then you'll see one reg XP and password. None of these will be here. So what you want to do is, since I already have it done, I'm just going to explain it really clearly. So for the username and password, the username and password is for like the actual connect. So, uh, the, pro the this is the connect connects to the proxy, and this is what the information is for the connect. So, you wanna you could just copy me and put LP and password, but just to be safe, I would do something a little harder so no one like copies you, like can get into your server and mess it everything up. Um, the reg XP. Uh, so the first one you want to do your hub. So this is what we're going. Your servers are going to connect to the connect, and then the connect's going to send the information to a proxy. So this is so. What to do is uh, once you have write this anything right in here, you have to make sure you write the same thing in your servers, which we'll get to in a second. So, uh, so I'm going to have hub for my thing, my username. For my hub server and my password is going to be password. Uh, do something harder just to be safe so no one gets into your network. And then you want to copy this and then just uh, just keep pasting it. And if you get like a red note, uh, if like anywhere in this project, or that you're like every time you start up something it resets for some reason, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have no like red spaces. There should be like no red. Like I'll explain if I get to it. So save all, and you're done in the connect. And then you want to open the proxy and go to edit. So this is gonna be, this is actually kind of similar to the other thing. So this is where I was having my problem before. So the credential, these is the credentials are the credentials for the connect. So you want to put the same thing in for here. So then you don't need to worry about this unless you know what it is and you need to use it for the servers. You want to this is the server you want everyone to go to. Which is probably going to be your hub server, so put hub there, domain, if you know what to do. So then, for servers, you need to list your servers, uh, the, like, with the R-E-G XP thing. You have to make sure you put the same thing as that. So, I had hub, survival, and HG. Um, so this, I'm, I think it's for, like, each server's MOTD. So, you don't really need to worry about that, because I don't think you're going to be connecting to each personal server. You're going to be connecting from the, like, hub. So, then, if you know what these mean, you can change them to make more sense for you or whatever. So, MOTD, uh, you could do whatever you want, and max players, you could do as many as your servers can hold. So, you want to make sure you keep authenticate. So, well, let me explain where my problem was. So, what I was doing with my problem is, so this is what I had before. This said hub1, and this said hub2. So what I did is change this to hub, this to survival, and I clicked enter, command V. And you see how it like, this, that this text is red, none of the other text is red. So what you need to do to fix this, because once you start up the proxy, it's going to reset. So what you need to do is go here, and then just, uh, I think tab, no. You need to space it till it gets back to its position, and then it should line up, and then this bar should connect. So that's where I was having my problem. Um... You might have the same problem somewhere else uh, in doing this, so you want to save that and exit. So now we've got our proxy done in our connect. We can go and edit our service. So the servers are really easy, actually. So we can go to plugins and we can go to connect, and then we can just right, right click, open with Notepad plus plus, and then we want to just set what we did for the other things. So I'm going to do that for all the servers, and then let me see portal command. I think I know what this is. Config. So yeah, um, for the portal command, what we need to do is we need to go write all the servers again. So we had survival, 
So you want to put like the username, and the username sh you should keep like what the actual server is because this is the commands people are going to appear. They're going to do slash server, and then they're going to write in the name. So and then hg. Um, and then this is going to be the like the color of the server, like when they do slash server to see what the servers are. This is the color of the server. And then the server's currently offline. Try again later. You can edit these messages with the colors. So they use print, uh, print, not print these colons, I think. I don't know. They use this comma. No, I don't know. But they use this, and then they put and, and then the letter. Uh, you can get color codes. Okay. So color codes Minecraft. Just search up this. I'll have the link for the color codes in the description, so you can just do it. And it's really easy. You just put and and then the color, uh, like the letter that or number that is used. So we have zeros for black, ones for dark blue, and you can see them. These. Um, you don't need to use this symbol. Just put because this is for like in-game stuff. We're just doing code. So for code, it's and. So yeah. That's what you do for this, and then you just do that for all of them. Save it, and exit out, and yeah, it's pretty simple to config. Actually, that's kind of why I like GoLilyPad better than the other LilyPad. It's because it's really simple. Um, so yeah, then you can just put these in a big like LilyPad network tutorial folder or well, for me tutorial, and then you're done. Uh, the next video. I'm going to be doing the portal, yeah, again, the, so, it might, just, maybe people want to see how to do portals again, and then I'm going to go back into doing, like, plugins and stuff for this. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I know you guys, like, uh, on my other little pad, you're saying it doesn't work anymore, I know that, that's why I wanted to get this video out, so that, because this is the working one. So yeah, I'm going to put it in the annotation, and in the description, and the comments, and everywhere on my other videos that uh, this is the new tutorial, and you guys should check it out. See you guys next time, and goodbye.